Ms. Diparma, the Mr. Dr. Obhijit Diparma, the Assistant Professor, and Mr. Uma Sankar Diparma, the ex president of PSF and M MDC of this district council, Mr. Anthony, the chairman of Northeast Student Organization, Mr. Samuel Jevra, the secretary general of NESO, Mr. Sinam Prakash, the officials and uh, of NESO, the leaders of uh, Naga Student Federation, uh, led by Mr. Tip, the president of Na NSF, uh, the leaders of Kasi Student Union, led by Lamborg, the president of KSU, uh, leaders of Garu Student Union, led by its president, Kang Seng Momin, leaders of ASU, uh, led by uh, its president, Dipankar Nath, the general secretary, Sampar Jyoti Borua, the advisors, Prakash Chandra Das, and Rajiv Jyoti Gogu, and leaders of ASU, leaders of MJP, uh, led by its vice president, Mr. Andrew, Leaders of all Manipur Student Union, led by Mr. Toba, the Vice President, and the leaders of APSU, led by uh, Marke Riba and Pritam Sonam, the President and General Secretary of Tripura Students Federation, the host, Mr. Vishnu Kumar De Burma and Mr. John, and other leaders of ESF and the former leaders and ex leaders of Tripura Student Federation, the delegates and the, and the friends. First of all, I'd like to uh, express our gratitude and thanks to our seat guests, the respected deputy chief of this district council, Onimesh Debarma, Professor Mr. Dr. Ovijit Debarma, for sparing their time in this inaugural session. At the same time, I'd like to express my Thanks to all the leaders and delegates of NESO and my student friends present here. This is a sixth general conference of Northeast Student Organization with a, with a theme which is very relevant for the uh, people of Northeastern region, Unite Against Onslaught. Friends, uh, I must express my Thanks to the seat guest because he has highlighted many points, many issues faced by the indigenous people of the Northeastern region. NESO is the umbrella organization of the Northeastern region. See, we have student bodies in all states. In Nagaland, Naga Student Federation is leading from the front for the causes of Nagas. The Mizu Jilai Paul is leading from the front in Mizoram for the causes of indigenous people of Mizoram. Likewise, the Kasi students in and Garu students in Meghalaya, all Manipur students in and Manipur, all Urnasal Pradesh students in and Urnasal, the all Assam students in and in Assam, they are all living in their own states. Our predecessors, they had, they had a meeting. How to carry our common issues in a united effort. So in this inaugural session of the 6th Annual General Conference, I must remember the former leaders of the ex-leader of the Northeast Student Organization. Earlier it was Northeast Student Coordination Committee. That time the former president, former leader of NESO, the former president, ex-president of Naga Student Federation, I must remember them. The ex-president of Naga Student Federation, Mr. Popino, the former president of ASU, Mr. Otul Bora, and other leaders, Bull Lingda of Kasi Student Union, they had initiated to form this Nogas, the Northeast Student Coordination Committee. Earlier it was not NESO. Before that, there was NARSU, Northeast Student, Northeast Region Student Organization, Northeast Region Student Union, NARSU. Then it became Northeast Student Coordination Committee. From that initiative, it became NESO. And uh, I must remember the, uh, the services, the initiative, the leadership that were given by our former leaders, Mr. Artek Simri, I must appreciate his service in the NESO because he had taken lead to uh, unite the student organization of this Northeastern region with their, with their foresightness. 
We are here, standing here in Agatala, in the platform of Meso. So, in this inaugural session, <coughs> I must express my gratitude to our ex-leaders, former leaders, with, for, for their foresightness, the Neso was formed. And we are carrying the ethos of Neso for the academic protection of the student community and uh, other activities which is essential for the protection of the interests of the Northeastern region. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I must say this, it's, it's eight pillar organization. It's eight pillar. One pillar is NSF, one pillar is ASU, one pillar is KSU, one pillar is GSU, one pillar is AMSU, one pillar is APSU, one pillar is MZP, and one pillar is CSF. These are eight pillars. Through these eight pillars, NESO is working. NESO is only an work, umbrella organization. It's an umbrella organization to carry forward and to work on the common issues faced by the indigenous people of North East. The, the setup, the, the organization setup is something unique. Nowhere in the country. First, NESO is a non-political organization. That's very unique. Nowhere in the country. It's not aligning with any political party. That is the unique character of the student, mo student movement. There is, a, there is a long student movement history in Northeast. There is a long history. And history is very clear. When Mahatma Gandhi had appealed to the people of Northeast, so people reciprocated. After that, there was a debate whether the student movement should be political or non-political. The student, the student organization, the student uh, students of Northeast have decided no, we'll move in a non-political way. So, the student movement, that eight pillars, we are totally non-political. The NESO is a totally non-political student organization, not aligning with any political party. But at the same time, the organization structure is something unique. We have the pillars. The eight pillars, they are working in their own states. They are leading from the front. The leaders, they are assembling and having this, carrying these common issues. Why you are here? We are here to give strength to the Triple Student Federation. I have just discussed with our CKS, the population. Out of 40 lakhs, we are always saying it is 10 lakhs Triplees. Our CKS says, no, we have 15 lakhs. It's very good. It's out of 40 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 50 lakhs are the Tipuris. So still, the Tipuris are the minorities in our own state. So we are here to give full strength to Tipura Student Federation. And uh, I must clarify one thing, that NASO is not a virtual organization. It is a root. It is a root, and that root is the pillar. The pillar are the eight pillar. And the seventh pillar, we are here to give strength to the eight pillar, that is CSA. We are here to give strength. And I have full firm belief due to the support of the Deputy CF, Deputy Chief on Imes Debama and the experienced people here, the Tipura Student Federation will get more strength so that they can make their own roots like other organization of Northeastern Student Organization. Because here the other organizations have their full roots. They have the organization, they have the structure. But all student organizations are assembling here to give more strength, to, to give more experience to Tripura Student Federation. We want that Tripura Student Federation should grow, they should have more strength, and they should, they should, they should, they, they can carry the issues faced by the indigenous Tripuris. So, I'd like to clarify that NASO is a, not a virtual organization, it's an organization which have a full roots and who have full organization structure. So we are here to give more strength to Tripura Student Federation. Yes, I appreciate that uh, there, there are many, many ways to strengthen TSF and the former leaders, ex-leaders of TSF are here. They, had, they, had, they, they did their very good work during their tenure. But as because we are discussing very frankly, I'd like to request our sit guests and the leaders, experienced leader who is leading the indigenous Tripuris, the Tripasa, uh, here in Tripura to guide TSF, to give more strength to TSF.
so that TSF can work for the student community of Tripura, they can work for the indigenous people of Tripura. We need your guidance, Deputy Chief, and other guests. Ladies and gentlemen, I do not want to prolong my speech because we have three technical sessions. One on the influx, one on the education, one on the economy and uh, employment. And after that, there will be technical session which where we can discuss other issues in our, in our platform. But as students are here, we must, we have a, we must uh, work for the protection for the student community of Tripura and uh, Northeastern states. Friends, we have many issues. The student community of Northeast, we also want to have good education, good education institute and good employment. But where is the situation? What is the situation in Northeast? That will be discussed in our education uh, panel. But I can one, I want to, I would like to cite one example only. We know that thousands of students are going out for higher studies or studies in different parts of the country. Why they are going out? Why these courses cannot be introduced in our states? Those who can able to go out, they are going out. But those who are meritorious, they cannot go out. They will have to study in Tripura, in Northeast. So that facility must be given to our student community. As a student body in SS determined to work on this line. We don't have sufficient medical colleges, engineering colleges, other technical and non-technical colleges, other courses in Northeast. 84 courses are there in Delhi University. But I can cite one example, the main university of Northeast. I'm not citing the main, the whole university of Northeast, the Guwahati, we have only 48 departments. You can visualize how many departments are there in other state universities of Northeast. We have a, we have a very proud moment for Northeast student organization. Because one pillar, that is Naga Student Federation, is celebrating 75 years of their journey. When Naga Student Federation is celebrating their 70 years journey, it's a proud moment not only for NSF, it's a proud moment for NESO, it is a proud moment for the whole student community of Northeast. But at the same time, if we compare with the education, there is no single medical college in Nagaland. On one hand, Naga Student Federation is carrying 75 years of journey, though we don't have medical college in Nagaland. This is the scenario. Because students from Nagaland, Nagas must have the opportunity to, to have medical colleges to start, they must get the person to study in medical science. So this is one example. So in all states, we need many, many technical, non-technical institutes. We need more courses in our, in our universities, colleges. So these are the main issues of the student community that will deliver. On the other hand, I must say that the influx of illegal foreigners is a big problem. It's a threat to the identity of the indigenous people of Northeast. We have seen the threat in Tripura. When I had discussed with the chief guests, the very interesting information that we will discuss in our technical forum. But when I had discussed with our chief uh, guests, Odimesh De Brahmaji, the central government is shouting that the uh, fundamentalist groups is entering Northeast. The PIF, PIF, and all this, they are shouting, the state government, they are saying that we are capturing. But if the central government can seal the Hindu Park border, they can, if they, they, if they can adopt effective measures in Hindu Park border, why not in the case of Hindu Bangla border? Where we are, we, we are sitting in Tripura, the whole border of Hindu Bangla border, out of the whole Indri Bangla border, 30% of the border is for us. 30%. When I had discussed, our CPS has said the areas where the indigenous people are residing, that part is covered. But where the illegal Bangladesh is residing, that part is for us. So that, through that 30% for us border, the, along with the illegal Bangladesh, is the fundamental groups, the others, they are entering. And it's not an issue of Tripuri, Tripura, it is not only the issue of indigenous people of North East, it's a, it's a, it's a country's issue. It's an it's a issue of nation. It's a threat to the identity of the indigenous people, at the same time it's a threat to the nation because through this illegal, through this border, the 
the, the fundamentalist groups they are entering. It's a tremendous route and tremendous camp for the fundamentalist group. But what the government of India is doing, what the state government is doing, they are keeping mum. It's only a single example. Other examples are there in Assam, in Bangla border and others. It's a trip. So in our deliberation we'll discuss. Because the indigenous people of North East have the right. We must have the right to control over our, our own land. We must have the control over the political rights of the indigenous people. And the other issues are there. The other due to, we have the inner land permit in three, three states, but due to calm moment, Manipur is getting this inner land permit system. So whole of North East we must get the inner land permit system. Whole North East. To protect because our CPS has said the flux two types. One from the country, one from the Bangladesh. So by introducing the inner land permit, the interests of the indigenous people can be safeguarded. So that is one part. So we'll discuss about that and uh, in Tripura, if we discuss about Tripura, um, yes, Tripuris, they are, they are fighting for the cause, they are fighting for the protection of the indigenous people, the Tipasa, that concept we are representing, the identity of the Tipasa, that must be protected. And the whole North is, we are standing here in Tipura, and we would like to say, and we would we'll like to demand that there should be a special constitutional status for the indigenous people in Tripura. We must get it. And, and on behalf of the people of Tripura, on behalf of the indigenous people of Tripura, standing here on behalf of North East, we carry this issue with firm determination and dedication that indigenous Tripuras, Tripasas must get a special constitutional status. And, uh, I do not want to prolong my speech. The other issues are also there. The way the where we had discussed about us with our same case during our partition, we had put it group C with Pakistan. Sardar Bandar by Petal, he is he can be the lion of the country, but in our part, in North East, we didn't get justice during that time. This is a long history. So we have a we have agony in our mind, we have resentment in our mind during that time. The injustice was given to the people of North Eastern region during partition. So we cannot forget. So we must get, we must revive. And that is what is their theme. It's a long, long list, United Against Onslaught. There is a long list from the partition to the imposition of car. There is a long list of injustice. We are getting two things only political injustice and economic exploitation from Delhi. And for that, we'll have to strategize, we'll have to make a strategy to overcome these challenges, overcome this situation where we can we can we can have we can get justice. One one single point I must uh, highlight that is regarding Orunachal. Our Prime Minister and other dignitaries they are visiting the world, they became the world leaders, they are projecting that this is the strongest leader of the world. I like to ask from Tripura, why our Orunachal friends cannot visit China? Because they are getting only a stable visa. The students, youths, and indigenous people of Orunachal, they cannot visit China because they are not getting visa. They are getting only a stable visa. Why? Is it, the, is it the character of a strong leader of the country? Why it is not equal to the other parts of the states? Why Orunachal are not getting equal status? What, where is the foreign policy of the country? The foreign policy of the country is keeping mum. Why? This is the question. And we must, we must be at par with the other parts of the country. That is the situation. On the other hand, they are, they are saying that the North East is Australopsy. Prime Minister is saying, once they are saying, look is, during Congress revision, they said, look is, now said, act is. Okay. What is the meaning of Lok Lukis and not act is? Whether it is a plan to have a corridor for exploitation, will Lukis, will, will support the act is, okay, we need economic development, but whether it will be economic corridor for exploitation, no, it cannot be. Nasso is firm on that. North East must be the economic hub of the country. It cannot be the economic corridor, it, is, it cannot be the corridor for exploitation. We must, North East must be treated as an economic hub. 
because western part they have seen the point of saturation now the eastern part is a vibrant part so for that we must plan accordingly so that government of india cannot take this as a grant that it is a it is a it is a it is a corridor of exploitation so on these issues we will have to deliver the influx the uh, economy the is uh, and the education is our primary issue the aspa we must say the aspa what we have the political injustice aspa but i must appreciate the stand taken by naga student federation during the voting incident along with the nsf the whole north is student body the naso naso had taken a very strong step and in, the, in that part it is a, it is a, it is a, it is a pros of north east student organization when one state face a problem when nagas face a problem nagas are not alone whole north east are standing behind nagas when tripuris are facing problem whole north east are coming here to support tripuris like that if if manipuris if bijus if urnasolis these assamis or khasis or galus they are facing problem then we will all work together this is the this is the ethos of north east student organization during voting incident man msf had taken a very strong stand but at the same time neso had taken a very strong stand north east was there was a protest this is the unique character of the north east student organization no state is alone when state is one state is facing problem all states are standing at the initiative of neso neso is the umbrella organization neso can take initiative to unite the people of north east and region we take the issue will will continue to work and uh, due to that in that pressure that continuous pressure particularly after the voting voting incident government of india is compelled to uh, relax the areas of exhibition of aspa but we want total total withdrawal of aspa from north east region that issue will have to carry very in an effective way will continue to carry so with these few words i'd like to uh read to it our it goes again the ethos is very clear though we are politically divided into seven states we are mentally emotionally we are one that is the ethos of the north east student organization with that ethos we'll carry our causes recently the last few days we have seen what is happening in in the borders of assam and meghalaya but today we like to tell you it's a very good development behind the scenes at the initiative of denso the asu leaders and kc leaders they are discussing and they will sit here also in agartala so that they can create the atmosphere and denso is taking the initiative and the the leaders of kc and asu they are showing maturity so how to how to pass a very strong message to assam and meghalaya from agartala because all the people of north is particularly assam and meghalaya they are seeing they are looking or they are sitting there what what is the positive positive message from agartala but i must say that is the maturity of the leaders of constituent body of naso so naso is taking any city and the the, the mature leader of ksu and asu they are starting informal discussion and they will have a discussion here and from here from naso conference this photo asu and naso asu and at the initiative of naso the ksu and asu will try to pass a very positive message to the people of uh, this that region with these few words i would like to express our thanks to our chief guest onimesh debama the other guest dr abhijit debama and i'd like to request again please be guardian for the student community of north east for tripura student federation please support to tripura student federation it's a appeal to you at the same time the student bodies the all the constituent bodies of north neso and the neso will always stand firm behind the tripura student federation it's a commitment to the tripura student federation yesterday yesterday i i had i had expressed our mind because when the, there was a, there was a firing in uh, komlung in, in tripura komlung area we immediately we came uh, to tripura the chairman chemal jeora the prakashina prakash and we all came we have visited the hospital in agartala we are we are not allowed to visit the hospital of komlung to see the bullet injuries that time we had taken a vow they know will come will come again and the holy uh, we the, the leaders of the north east student organization we are here that that situation we cannot for, for forget 
that woman incident, the resistance by the Assam police and the Tripura police, we cannot forget. So with that feeling, we are here. Again, I am reiterating that uh, we are here to give our strength to the Tripura Student Federation and to make strategy for future journey of North Eastern region. Though politically you are divided, again I am repeating, mentally you are emotionally, you are one. Thank you so much.